Welcome back Gundam guys and Gundam gals. Patrick Grade here from GGInfiniteNews.com. This time with a very special unboxing. But first I want to take a minute to thank all of my subscribers and viewers out there for the time that they spent with me so far. And wish you all a happy holidays. And I look forward to bringing you all a whole bunch more videos in the upcoming year. So thanks again for watching and I hope you stick with me. So like I said this is a very special unboxing. This time for the Master Grade Full Armor Unicorn Verka. This was just released and uh, is currently available on gginfinite.com. So stop by there to pick up your own kit. First off, this box is massive. It's about the size of two standard Master Grade boxes together. The thickness of two Master Grade boxes. And it's very beautifully designed. On the front here we have a massive picture of the full armor unicorn. All psycho framed and everything. Uh, again, this came out December 22nd. On the one side here, we see a whole bunch of layouts for the jabber base, the beam javelin, the shields, the folded up beam javelin, all the rocket launchers and tanks and stuff on his back. So just a whole bunch of stuff in this kit. In addition to the standard Verka version of the unicorn suit, we also get uh, two Vulcan guns, two beam guns, two hyper bazookas, two triple missile pods, two grenade launchers, eight hand grenades, six beam Gatling guns, four beam sabers, three shields, two hyper beam javelins, and a whole bunch of more stuff in the jabber base. So this box is packed to the brim with plastic. And on the opposite side, we have some very nice line art that was in the Gundam Ace uh, magazines, as well as the novels and stuff. So very. Very nice line art, suit specifications and all that good stuff, and story information. And this retails for I think around $110 or so US. So it's very, you know, it's pricey, but you've got a whole bunch of stuff. Inside this box, you get uh, around 37 plates, I think, plus a whole bunch of stickers, decals, and tra dry transfers. So I'm going to open up all the bags and show you guys the uh, individual plates. So inside that box you get 21 bags full of plastic. Uh, that's probably more or as much as the two perfect grades that I built. So this is a massive master grade. So of those 27 plates, 10 of them are white. The majority being used to make up the standard issue unicorn that we've seen before. And there are three or four that are unique to this kit. Uh, two of them have these massive thrusters, the extra shields, and all the elements that go along with the white parts of the, the beam javelins. So you can see some really nice deep channels on the booster tanks here. And there's even a pilot for the jabber base. And this plate looks like it makes up the rest of the jabber base with the cockpit up front here and the sides and everything. So some nice detail molded here, some nice channel line opportunities and stuff. So very nice uh, plastic. So for unique colors, uh, we get two X plates that have the beam javelin effect parts. Some of it looks similar to what we've seen on the Sananchu. Some of the bright red for the thrusters and missile pods and grenades. A few pieces of the translucent green for the shields and the beam javelins. And the grenade packs here on the side in gray. So we get two of those. We get two full plates of translucent green for the psycho frame and the shield blades. And we get two small plates of a dark teal that I believe probably goes on the beam magnum or some trim parts or something. And we have a small plate of dark blue here for the backpack and feet and some other unique pieces. And there are four beam saber blades in the translucent pink. So if you weren't tired of uh, inner frame gray before, you probably will be soon after this one. There's a whole bunch of gray plates here, around 20 or so. 
Uh, some of them are separated nicely for just the bazookas and uh, the thruster pods uh, stands and effect parts. So we have two like this. Two more for the weapons, uh, more for the bazookas, the beam magnums, and some extra trim pieces. So we get, we get two of those. And we get six of these plates with more weapon pieces and trim pieces. And the rest is for the inner frame and the jabber base. On this one we see some thrust nozzles and looks like waist pieces. Here's part for the legs and the jabber base. More inner frame, a lot of joints. We see hands, knees, all that kind of good stuff here. Here's some waist and skirt inner frame. Legs, knees, elbows, and shoulders. Parts for the shield and some other stuff. More weapon pieces here. And again, it's some more weapon pieces here. So here's the bag full of stickers. Get a small seat of foil stickers that has yellow for the V fin, the gun sensors, and the eyes. Then we have some dry transfers for warnings and uh, caution stickers and everything. And then some stickers below, or seals below for more warnings and uh, unit markings and everything. So quite a bit of stickers here. That'll take hours to put together. So the manual is equally impressive. We have a different picture up here on front uh, than we saw in the box. So a real nice picture on front. The Vertica stuff usually has nicely designed uh, manuals and everything inside. So some really nice product shots and detail shots of all the individual elements. Fully panel lined and decaled and stickered and everything. So these are some nice product shots. Here's the layout of all the plates. The first half or so of the manual is all about the unicorn, the unicorn mobile suit itself. Probably something you've already built before if you built the other figure. A nice splash page in the center here with more of the Gundam Ace style artwork. Some details about the Jabber base. On page 23 of the manual, we start moving away from the mobile suit and start putting together all the weapons and uh, shields and everything. Starting with the beam magnum, the hyper bazooka, the shields, the hyper beam javelin, the beam gatling gun, the uh, holster for the beam gatling gun for the backpack, the boosters. Here's all the weapons going on to the uh, mobile suit. And the jabber base. Fold that piece here. And what's really nice is they give us a fully colored uh, layout for all the stickers and decals and everything. Front, back, side shots of the, of the mobile suit. And the same with each of the weapons. So a very clear way to apply all of the decals. And of course the coloring guide there at the bottom. And some more story information or whatever here on the inside. And on the back here we get some credits for who, all the people who were involved in creating the manual itself. So quite a few people went into just the manual. So again, this is a big manual, about 40 pages. 
Uh, there's all the plates for the kit. So you can see what I have to work here with here, around uh, 30 or 40 plates or so. So there's a whole lot of work to be done. And I'll start posting videos as soon as I can. And I will uh, see you then. Thanks a lot.